Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today we're going to be continuing our hardcore let's play. This is episode two. So if you missed out on episode one, it's only one episode you can catch right up and then get back to this video. But in today's video, I want to set up a food source. I got a comment and if I can find the comment, I'll put it on the screen now of making an, what did he call it? Like an, like a, like a cow based entity cramming farm of some kind, which I really like the sound of. So the goals for today are, you know, get the cows. I'm going to need a wheat farm. Let's just get into it. I'm curious to see what happens. I got some criticism on the first episode from a couple friends of mine saying I wasn't exactly the bravest. You know who you are. Um, but I'm going to do my best to be a little more, you know, I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't play this game mode usually, but we're sitting here in the world select screen. I haven't gotten into anything yet so I can talk to you guys, but let's get into it. I'm guessing that the next bit of gear I'm going to need is a shovel. No, not a shovel, a bucket. What am I talking about? Speaking of buckets, got ourselves a pretty big looking iron vein, actually. This is nice. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I really hope there's no more. I hadn't even considered silverfish in this whole thing. Oh, I'm already, already anxious. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. I'm here to just, you know, do what I got to do and get out. <laughs> I didn't like that. Oh yeah, we got our little storage floor up here. I totally forgot about that. And we got a lot of food actually. That's more food than I remember. Oh my gosh, that is a lot more food than I remember getting off the start. But I remember prioritizing food like very highly. So, you know what? I'm okay with our circumstances right now. As long as I don't get myself killed by a silverfish. That scared me. It genuinely scared me. How are you guys doing, by the way? I just wanted to really quick say thank you for the support on the first episode. A lot of you guys watched it really quickly. So I'm very excited to see how this series, you know, continues to be received, of course. But yeah, thank you very much for your support. It's... It's, it was very, very nice to see, so thank you. Let's now try and plan how this is gonna look. So if it's an entity cramming farm, we need to be able to get cows into the top and we don't need to worry about going in, we just need to worry about getting the drops up from below. So this leads me to believe that we're gonna need a one by one space with a hopper at the bottom, of it, probably a carpet on the top, maybe, I don't know. And then, you know what, with the layout of our house, I could probably, uh, cows can't climb ladders unfortunately, but I think that could happen up here and we could collect our drops in the wall down here. So I'll tell you what, I am going to start by collecting a big old bunch of seeds. I don't even have an iron sword or a shield, shield. I need to make a shield. Someone told me about that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, you are so right. Let's make ourselves a shield real quick. I don't even have planks. Oh my gosh, shield, perfect. Oh my gosh, uh, how much iron do I have? Okay, so I've got enough for a sword. But I think I'm gonna make an ax. Wait, nine attack damage, nine attack damage. This attacks a little faster. Is it worth it? I'm gonna say no. Knowing me, I'm not good enough at PVP to be able to make that 10th of a second consistency. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna elect to just carry on. Carry on. I might even set the farm up right here. Cause this is a nice flat patch of land. Got ourselves some water down here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Is there a correct tool per se to get rid of seeds? Presumably it would be a hoe or shears. Wait, if you use shears on like the grass, do you actually get the drop? I've never thought about that. I don't want to find out right now because I don't want to waste my iron. Solid, solid start to the episode, I would say. I think again, I think we're going to keep these videos relatively short, maybe one or two, one or two, probably two or three actually in game days, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back down there for the iron for the chest because I need one more iron, but that's okay. What block level am I at again? 36. Okay, so I'm not even close to the actual bottom, but look what we found. Oh boy. I think that's iron right there in the water. I'm not risking that. Oh, there's some emerald over there. Very nice. Is there anything close within reach? Because if there's not, I'm just going to turn around and start going down in the opposite direction. Because I don't want to risk lava right now. I mean, I could just block it off. But then that would leave a lot of, like, dark areas. And I don't really have... I mean, I've got the means to make torches. But... <gasps> I meant to hit C to zoom in on that skeleton that I saw just over there. 
I almost just walked And there's some iron right there. Oh my gosh. I... L I'm hopeless. <laughs> By whatever means, we've got our iron and a new appreciation for life. <laughs> and we're gonna hopefully make the most of it, not squander it, get ourselves home in one piece and reap the benefits of our iron. I'm basically setting up and starting, you know, the actual, you know, thing that is gonna be the, um, thing. I wanna say, actually, no, it's probably, yeah, okay. I don't wanna give mobs the chance to spawn. I also realize now, I'm in a very big open field with no trees to cast shadows, so I think I should be pretty okay when it comes to mobs, but cows. Oh, there's still mobs out. There's a cow over there. Noted. And I know there might be people who are, you know, disappointed that I'm, again, not really being the most outgoing in my playthrough at the moment, but again, I'm just trying to lay the groundwork to, you know, be sustainable. I don't want to die super early on. I want this series to maybe last a little bit. And I'm sure there's a lot of you who want that too. So bear with me. Um, can you step up from here? Could a cow conceivably get here? My guesses say no. So let's maybe make a makeshift staircase that they can climb up. We're gonna, we're gonna get rid of that door, I think, maybe. Is a balcony worth thinking about? No, I'm, it's, it's function over form. Function over form. Let's start making that farm now that we've got the um, the bucket of water and the uh, seeds. Sounds like a plan to me. I keep going a lot. I don't know why. Just feels like a very punctuating sound to make. Just like and then you like sigh into the next thing. I don't know. I'm not really gonna focus on advancements in this like I am in the let's play. I'm more just gonna focus on straight game progress and surviving. And hopefully um, in some indeterminate amount of time, stuff will grow or I come across a skeleton that A, scares the pants off me and B, I need to eat. Bruh, I gotta be, I gotta be better about watching my stats. That's not okay. An iron sword does the same damage, but attacks faster. Isn't, I gotta be so much more careful. This is not okay. This isn't okay. I don't like being down here, but I'm gonna take it for what it is in mine. I should have made an iron pickaxe. Did I make an iron pickaxe? No. <gasps> oh, that's a good and bad sign because materials, but danger. Well, we'll see, we'll see. That, that'll be an episode but I'm glad to know that's there. I don't I don't claim to be good at the game and this this series should be a firm reminder that I am not here to prove anything. I'm here to survive and do nothing more. That is the bare minimum of what I hope to accomplish. Here we are. A little bit of chunk started loading. I've given the word chunk should load. I used to rule the world. Well, I guess past tense suggests I don't rule it anymore. Bum 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 ba dum ba ba dum ba ba bum bum ba ba da bum. Ah! <gasps> oh, that is not what I was hoping to find. I understand I'm relatively far, but that's besides the point. I'm close enough to be concerned. How is the wheat growing? Is it like at least growing? Or are we just sitting here waiting for nothing? I have no idea if that's growing or not. Just something else I wanna say real quick. Um, the uh, Discord server is still moving along very nicely. Um, I've been having a lot of fun hanging out with you guys and talking to all of you. My DMs are open on Discord, so even if you're not in the server, you can get to me. But uh, my DMs are open on Discord, so you don't even have to be in the server to get to me, but I would much rather you be in the server than not because it's a nice time. And I hang out in the voice chats relatively often. You can come talk to me, hang out. I stream games in there all the time. I play piano. And it sounds just like that. Oh, they're on fire. Oh, that's not good. They'll set me on fire, won't they? That wasn't terrible. Okay, there's more things. Ow. He did four hearts of damage. 
What a jerk. Just the, just the peace of mind knowing it's not super dark down here will probably make me more willing to explore it. Maybe at some point I can move my base of operations into this little cave. Cause I'm already seeing like a nice rectangular shape I could make out of this. Let me know in the comments if you'd want to see that. Cause if I get my feet under me with this little hut that I've got, that is definitely something I think I would be interested in doing. All I need to do, all I need to focus on is getting two cows. Once I get two cows into that little thingy, the episode is over. Like I just need to get cows there. Um, chest plate, pickaxe? Chest plate, for sure. Defensive, more than, uh, you know. Not the right way to start that sentence, actually. All right, let us continue hunting down iron. Let's go down here. I don't like the noise. I know it's water, but there's something about things interrupting the silence that just makes it unsettling. And I'm not a fan because I know what's at stake. Well, not a lot is at stake because it's well lit and I'm safe and I've got a weapon and that's fine. But I really don't want this series to be two two episodes long. I'm glad I made it. I'm, I'm glad I got a solid start. I'm glad I got through the first episode. Let's just hope to, or try to rather, maintain this momentum. I'm going to combine these pickaxes. Bang. Sick. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I mean by saying like, what I need to do. Let's try this. I'm not, oh, we already went over this. Somehow, I haven't got myself killed once. I think that's obvious considering that this is an episode in a hardcore series that isn't explicitly labeled as the finale. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna advertise the series when it's uh, at its end as the last episode. I think there's a little bit of a fun, like, you know, tension in there. Part of me, and I want to hear what you guys think about this in the comments. For those of you who were aware of the Unis Honest channel, I personally watched a lot of it. I thought it was fantastic. A little sad to see it go. It served its purpose. Um, well, the purpose wasn't to make people sad. It was to make people accept like things moving on and death and mortality and stuff. But that is besides the point. What I wanted to, what I was curious and see how you guys would think. If this hardcore series, if I die, as well as the world getting deleted, the videos get deleted and I could also start a new hardcore series. Let me know what you think about that. Cause I think it could add a nice layer of like tension to the series. I don't know, we'll see. But um, let's continue our endeavors to collect iron. I'm holding, I feel like I'm holding shift harder than I need to. It's just a key on a keyboard. It's not gonna, nothing's gonna happen to it. Is there any more iron? I could get up to that. Let me just do a quick check. So I've got these two, I would need 11 more iron and then I'd get a sword and then I'd probably want to get an axe. So let's do this. Let's hope that nothing comes at us from that mine shaft there and just grab this last pocket of iron. Then we're going to run up. Hopefully by then our little wheat farm will have output at least one wheat and we can, you know, start Did something just die right there. I didn't. Hey, Nick in the future, roll that back. Let's try this again too. Yeah, look at me go. I mean, it wasn't, granted it wasn't that high of a fall, but I, I can do things, kinda. I should, I should do, there's there's a lot of, a lot of my friends are very, very good at this game. Let me know, in, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a video where it's just like, try hard Minecrafters teaching me how to be good at the game. I think that could be a fun video. Uh, to the people who would teach me, you guys know who you are, so, do hit me up if you would be interested in that sort of video, because I think it could be a lot of fun being trained by professionals. It is dark out. Oh, and there's a skeleton right there, but I don't, I don't dare. I don't dare. Not yet. I think my main concern right now is I'm not sure what things do how much damage under what conditions. Part of me wants to say I'll be confident enough to go out in full iron to face off against skeletons and zombies and spiders, like the simple stuff. I just don't know what they're gonna do to me through this armor. So I'm gonna have to experiment before I'm confident. Well, experiment is a bit loose. It's probably just gonna be closer to, you know, un unfortunate circumstances befalling me. <gasps> We've got a piece of wheat. Lovely. Let's grab the wheat. Oh, wait, sometimes wheat can drop more than one. Oh, that'd be so nice if it does. I'm sure there's nothing following me around. You are being protected by the shade. How many uses do I have on this? 13. That should be enough. Let's get some bones. This is gonna be a risky move 
This is gonna be a very risky move. We got it. We got it. We gotta make risky moves one way or another. Hey, friend. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Bang. 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 Which of you looks like you'd be good? You. And then you. And then maybe you. Lovely. Look at us go. I should get a composter. Why do I not have a composter already? How do you make a composter? <laughs> There's cows over here. <gasps> oh, we're in business. We're in business. We just need to get all these to uh, come follow me. Yes. Follow me. Oh, this is lovely. And five cows is a good start. It's not that far of a walk for sure, but it's a walk. Our destination is growing ever so nearer. Do I sell all cow, all cow fives? All five cow. Up this way, right up here. Oh no, don't hurt yourself. Oh gosh. Okay, the cow can do that. In, do you, do you go in? Do you fall down? You don't fall down. I thought you'd fall down. We find ourselves in a new problem. Let's try a different strategy. Let's try. Okay, you go back. Don't fall into the thing. I hope that was a cow and not a pillager I just heard. Oh, that's a pillager. He's not in here, is he? Can this cow? Oh, they're like outside, aren't they? Oh, that's, that's undesirable. Okay, what if, what if I did this? What if I did this? What if, what if, for example, I put a block here, then I pushed this cow into there and then put a block here and then stand, no, no, stand over here and he'll be like, ooh, give, and then he'll fall. And then these two, come on, this way, this way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, this way. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of all this. Oh, that's that's already looking fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Okay, bang, 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 bang. All right, oh, that's so good. That's so good. We've got four cows in one place. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's first put a block here. Dig this out. Or is that fine in and of itself? This, I think this could work. And then I could just... Yeah? There's another cow down there that can... Come on. One he is. There were four in there. Oh, is this gonna be obnoxious? Those cows aren't gonna cooperate, so what of it? But we've got our iron tools, we got our iron armor, and we've started at least what I hope turns into an entity cramming based cow farm. I've never made one. I never looked up how to make one. I'm just assuming you get a bunch of cows in one place and hope for the best. So that's what I've done. So I'm gonna end this video here. So <laughs> if you liked this video and you wanna see more like it, then do please subscribe and share this video to your friends, places, things, and blah, blah, blah. Once again, um, thank you so much for the support on the last episode. Uh, if this receives the same amount of love, then I'm gonna be more inclined to, uh, you know, make more of these. So make sure you share this video. If it does well, you know, you know, you know the drill. But that is gonna do for this video. And I will see all of you in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.